up guys just got the new transmission in uh, doing a test drive right now bobtailing going probably about 10 miles took just took off I'm in 10th gear now so so far so good they, they this is literally less than 24 hours about 24 hours it took from when I broke down the tow for this company to put in a new transmission and uh, now I'm doing the test it's a brand new brand new transmission um, get off this exit right here I'm gonna go down the gears downshift all the way through still probably it's brand new so go back and forth it's pretty feels better I'm gonna tell you guys a story on another video I'm gonna make tonight when we take off with the trailer and I'm gonna let you guys decide whose fault it is uh, I'll tell you the name of the company I went to two weeks ago. I'll tell you a s situation. And they, when I called them, they said that, well, they're not at fault because their mechanics do their job. So, and then you can tell me in the comments section if you think it's BS. Because I think it's BS. So let's downshift real quick. That was smooth. Go back down. That's good. It's nice and smooth. Go down again. Nice and smooth. Go one more down. Sixth gear. Go down to fifth. little rough because I'm bobtailing to be a little smoother with a heavy trailer but seems to be doing fine nice and smooth I'm going through all the gears start out in one I'm in the mountains in uh, West Virginia. So, starting at one first gear. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get on the highway. Six. So far, so smooth. check for leaks just to double check everything you got all new gaskets all new seals uh, five gallons of brand new uh, transmission fluid there was no leaks before but and even the company I went to before two weeks ago to get an oil change and a complete inspection make sure all my fluids are good even they said on the paper no leaks fluids are good You know, with transmission, my job during the pre-trip is to look over the transmission for leaks. You check the seals. You check underneath. If you see leaks, then yeah. Other than that, you don't really need to touch it. You know, you don't really need to check it. You can look for leaks. If you see leaks, then you got to take the cap off and look inside, make sure you got fluid. My power drive seal's brand new. Like a month and a half old. Because I spotted a little leak a little while ago at Nationwide. So they put a new seal on. 
Did they fill it up? They were supposed to? I don't know. You know? Things like transmission fluid are, you know, we should, as owners, and our truck, obviously, I should have checked that myself. You know, I can't put trust in a dealership that's supposed to do their job, then, you know, what am I going there for? You know, I, I'll just explain it right now. I went to Volvo in Omaha, Nebraska. They did a 22 point inspection. They said there's no leaks, all my fluids are good, everything looks good, oil change, boom, bada bing. Two weeks, not even 4,000 miles since that, my transmission blows, and when this place looks at it, they said there's no leaks and there was only a half a gallon of transmission fluid in there. I called Volvo Omaha. They're like, oh, he said, the, when we talked to the technician, he said he doesn't remember your truck, but if, if, it, if they did the inspection and they did the oil change, they made sure it was filled, so I don't know where it went. I don't know where your fluid went. Really? Two weeks ago. Two weeks, my, I, I went through five gallons of uh, fluid. There's no blowback fluid in my radiator, so there's no leak there, and there's no leaks anywhere on the transmission, so where the hell did it go? Oh, it's not our fault. Our technicians do their job. Okay, so I want you guys to comment on Omaha, Volvo of Omaha, Nebraska, on what they told me, what they did, and tell me, and they, when I asked them if they, you know, they were at fault, they're like, no, we do our job. So, I'm going to leave it to you guys to comment below what you think about Omaha, Volvo of Omaha, because that's the situation, that's the story, you know. So, either way, 24-hour fix for a trans new transmission, brand new, 4,000 bucks. That includes the tow, everything, four grand. With the tow, the installation, the brand new transmission, four grand. And I still get this load. I still got to make this load. We had to reschedule it, but stuff happens, right? It's trucking. So four grand, that's that's like a run, one run with this new outfit that I'm going. Two runs, two bad runs, there's not really any bad runs. The, the, like the load I'm going to pick up, you know, or this one. This load right here, damn near pay half the transmission, so. Sorry guys, pulling in right now. Anthony's Truck Repair, Crawley, West Virginia. here they'll check it for leaks and we'll hook to the trailer and get going so all right guys that's what's going on new transmission done so all right guys drive safe I'll pull in here and keep on trucking all right guys round two with a new transmission Same hill that got me. Coming up here in a little bit. She's shifting smooth. Alright guys, I'll 
start recording right before the hill. Alright guys, right here before yesterday was where it started getting crazy. We just went up the five mile stretch. This is the top of Sandstone Mountain, elevation 2,765 feet. There's the sign where it just started getting crazy right here, grinding. This is the exit, I had to pull off. New transmission. Comment what you think about Omaha, Volvo of Omaha, and uh, let me know. So, all right, guys, drive safe, have a Merry Christmas.